To draw pipes, you have a few different options in the toolbar. It's split up between reticulation pipes, which are usually like your horizontal distribution through the floor, your connection pipes, which are usually your branch connections to fixtures, and then you can draw multiple pipes at once, and we'll cover a riser in a different video. The reason these are split up is because you can set different parameters in the settings here under flow systems, so different materials, different velocities, and things like that. So let's choose copper. Now I can anywhere I click I can start drawing, but if you want to connect to something, as you hover over it, you can see a little blue um, plus symbol. And then it's just like drawing polylines at this point. Everywhere you click, it will draw. In the bottom left here, it's important to see there is a height to everything you draw. If you're doing a more concept design and don't care about being fully accurate, I wouldn't worry about the height. But if you want to be accurate for all your pressure and heat loss calculations, then you can control the height with the up and down arrows on the keyboard. So as I press up on the keyboard, we'll see that black semicircle appear, and we'll see the height in the bottom left change. And once again, if I press down, we'll see a new semicircle. Uh, you can also see down here that the length is kept track of, so if you're drawing a certain length, um, you can control that there. And you can hold shift if you want to draw a funny angle. Um, you can do that. And then now that will still snap to 90 degree uh, planes from that angle, or the traditional 90 degree. One thing to be aware of, though, if you have drawn a funky angle um, by accident and you want to straighten that out, just dragging this um, causes problems, especially when this is connected. So what I would do in this case, I wouldn't try and, uh, you can hold shift again, and straighten it out, but you'll never get it perfect. The easiest thing to do, honestly, is right click, drag a box over it, delete, and once again, just draw your pipes, it's much faster. Uh, and yeah, of course, if you wanna move these around, uh, really easy to modify. If you want to change the height after it's been drawn, you can do that here as well. So as we change this from nine to eight, those semicircles appear. Uh, and then if you want to override any properties, like maybe this section of pipe for some reason is an existing stainless steel pipe. So override, make it stainless steel. And maybe you know the diameter is two inches. Once you've set that, all the calculations will run with that in mind. And it's highlighted yellow. Uh, so for someone reviewing it, even yourself, you can always remember that there's something different about that pipe. Uh, if you wanted to draw a PEX pipe, it works exactly the same way. Just obviously when we click on this now, it's using a PEX with a different velocity compared to uh, copper. And then the last one I'll show here is the multi-pipes. So the way this works is whatever you, whatever is highlighted in the circle, so here it will be two pipes, here it's three pipes, you can now start, um, if all your pipes are following the same route, start clicking that around. And once again, in the bottom left, uh, you can control the height if you want to. And those pipes can be individually moved, deleted, or whatever needs to happen. And if you're trying to connect to something, such as, um, let's say, a booster pump here, it is somewhat easy to hover over the connection point and come back and then it will snap as we saw just then um, so that you can get the 90 degree angle but sometimes it can be fiddly so let's say if we uh another way to do it which we recommend sometimes is to just draw straight past it instead of trying to get it accurate draw it into the connection and then you can just click on that and delete that pipe so same if we had a fixture here um, Roll this pipe up and try and hover over it and snap it again, uh, which you can do. But sometimes it's easier and faster to do something like this. Um, so, whatever works best for you.